records like Bitches Brew, Miles Davis, Funky Fusion records, you know, stuff like that. And even like, you know, just foundation soul music like Marvin Gaye, What's Going On. I grew up hearing that, Steely Dan. My dad, he also was, you know, played in Little Feet, he plays in Little Feet, you know, they're a group that's kind of has an American like hybrid of funk and country and blues and, you know. So I, I grew up around that a lot of that music, but not like you know, not the you know what people like is like the, the heavy you know, classic break stuff, but some of the stuff related to that weather report you know that kind of stuff. I just it was around when I was a little kid. I didn't pay much attention to it though. When, you know, I was I was listening to the Beatles records, you know, when I was like five years old. <laughs> Well, my first, my favorite shit was Mark the 45 King's production, all that stuff he did, uh, his, just his own beats and stuff he did for Latifah, Lakim Shabazz, and then Ultramagnetic, and, oh uh, man, I'm trying to think, Jungle Brothers, the whole Native Tongue, that first Jungle Brother record here, they had a really good radio station in LA called K-Day, and they played all that, all the classic. started getting influenced by it, you know, it kind of came into some of the kind of fusion that I was doing, having that backbeat and working little breaks into my, you know, the set, but that was before, way before Breaker Shows, like, you know, 15 years ago. <laughs> I wouldn't say educate, but edutain. Okay. You know, edutainment, the like KRS said. Okay. It's like that, more more along that line. Maybe it inspires somebody to like go, you know, wonder, you know. Maybe not. Maybe they just enjoy it. It's, it's the music's for everybody. But, of course, I, I definitely come from that hip, from that foundation of, you know, the hip-hop, which really was, you know, people playing old funk records back in the early 70s playing house parties. You know, Hurricane, especially Flash and you know Hollywood and Bam, of course, Jazz J. It's really that. That's a big part of it too. And what, what do you? But, it, but it, you know, it grows off. You know, okay. and I got into the stuff that music. You know, through the whole deep funk scene, Kev Darge, and then of course Egon from Stone So. That, you know, it's just it expands and goes deeper and deeper. But I'm into all of it. <clears throat> I'm not into elitism. I'm not into like it has to be rare. But I like I like all music. You know, all that music that gets exposed. There's a lot of it that turns me on, and you know, I can see how it fits with this or that. And sometimes I'll work that into a set. I've 
met a couple, you know, cats who were like, you know, like the guy from Funk Incorporated and this guy, George Semper, who also has got some breaks, but I never really <clears throat> like he'd ever heard our stuff. Oh yeah, Reuben Wilson. He did. Him and, oh yeah, him and, and what am I talking about, Weldon Irving. And the guy did the Emo Quest award to our sample. And he was, you know, he gave love. He, he showed appreciation for what we were doing. He heard it because Egon, you know, Egon was in contact with him from Stonesville. And so he, he turned him on to what we were doing. So yeah, Weldon and uh, Reuben Wilson, actually. Well, Reuben Wilson actually uh, saw one of the breakers just sets. <laughs> CDs, hearing stuff that people are turning on to records that I buy, to, uh, you know, every once in a while there's some things that come out on hip hop, you know, new tracks that you go, oh, where's that from, you know, not a lot, you know, it's, it's slim pickings, you know, things have been kind of dug up in a way, but, you know, records are like a circle, like infinity, you know, they keep on going, there are still more records out there, so it really doesn't stop, it's amazing how many there are. Yeah, well, they've been doing that since for a long time, man. This uh, premiere sampled uh, Steezo for Take It Personal. So, I mean. There's nothing too new about that. People have been doing that. Oh, yeah, that, that breaks there, you know, if it's open. You know. Um, I don't really care. I don't care about any of that, that like, you know, original copies, this or that. It doesn't mean anything to me, whether it's from, it's from DJs to producers. It just doesn't mean. I mean, if you've got some, some music nobody else has got, yeah, well, you've got something that you're not going to hear anywhere else. That's cool. But, you know. Does it really matter? Not, not to me at all. Maybe that's because I'm being, you know, coming from a musician's background, and it's to me, it's all just music. You know, if it's good, it's good. 